Retro Games Saver dropping this freshly built from scratch retro bat build for your computer, plug and play. This is all floppy dicks, cassettes, no disc based systems, but he is giving you add on packs for Thomas Wade, Naomi, a massive PlayStation 1 collection, and a bunch of other things. This kind of reminds me of what Virtual Man did a while back. But this one is now up and running. The virtual man has, you know, and some of us have it archived. It's 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 out there. But um, this one is now available. It is all freshly updated, and you can absolutely run your own games on here as much as you want. This thing is packing 105 systems as it is. Okay, so if you want those old school systems, those old school games, look no further. Beautiful themes, retro bat runs smooth like butter, all the artwork. It's a really, really, really clean starting point. It's about 300 gigabytes, so it's not even that big of a download. It's going to get crazy when you start adding Dreamcast and PlayStation and Sega Saturn, etc. But that's totally optional, so your bandwidth shouldn't be too crazy. But um, all your Super Nintendo... You know, it goes up to about Nintendo 64, uh, Jaguar, you know, cartridges, um, but it doesn't do any CDs, right? So no Sega CD, no uh, GameCube, PlayStation 1, but you can download all those. He's, he's going to be doing packs. And so I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. Let's go ahead and see what's on this build, play some games, and share with you my final thoughts. So it is uh, in alphabetical order here. You can uh, remove some of these um, these uh, different um, game collections right here. You have 105 systems, 13 selected games, like all games, last played, two player, four player. You can remove or add these, group some systems together or not. Um, you can play around with all that. This seems to be a custom theme here, but you can absolutely download additional themes. Um, that's going to be in your user interface settings. There's about two other themes installed, but this is uh, RetroBat. So you can go into updates and downloads. You could download more themes, the bezel project. You could update it as, as you know as new builds come out. It's really user friendly. So two player games, four player games, all games. You got your massive arcade set. If you look in the um, where does it tell you this? It should tell you. There you go. 2,353 arcade games. And uh, as you click in. You see the box. I mean, it's an arcade game. There's not really supposed to be a box art, a wannabe box art. And then, uh, you know, a video snap on the left side, a video preview, if you will. And it looks like those arcades on the left just kind of stay there. All right. So a massive arcade set. You know, again, no, none of your favorites are saved yet. You can, you can save favorites, you know, games that you want to play regularly so you don't have to go find them all the time. So light gun games, these are games you can play with light gun. And this is for your PC, you know, so, and something I'm going to touch on later in the video is just, this thing is not going to require a very powerful PC. You could go buy a refurbished $100 computer and this is going to play the majority of these games on this particular build just fine. So that's what I love about this. I would just throw it on a um, external hard drive, USB 3.0, or put it on the internal hard drive and you'll be gaming. But uh, light gun games, you got 137 last played these are some of the games i've been playing in this video um unfortunately i didn't get them all i, I started at mario 3 we did horse racing uh my son and i played some mario party 2 mario kart ds cadillacs and dinosaurs um death smiles that's a cool game you'll see that later Die Hard arcade um and then that's where we kind of left off uh vertical games so these are games you know as you see here you got vertical up and down you're usually going to have a, a, a smaller, you know, vertical screen. <clears throat> it's not going to be horizontal. Steering wheel games. So just like light gun games, these are going to be racing games. All right. Um, cave. So this is a particular system. There's actually some really good uh, shooting games on this. A lot of really good ones. So I highly recommend che check those out. CPS 1, 2, and 3. Those are going to be your Street Fighters, your JoJo's, etc. Um, quite a bit of those. Pretty much the whole set. Uh, Retro Bat is where you're going to go into your settings. 
Okay, here we go. British Broadcasting Corporation Microcomputer System. So a lot of these older systems, you know, a thousand games right here. You know, I, I'm not even, uh, I've not played some of them. But all games really quick. So there's 38,000 games on this base image. And then, like I said, you can add on add-on packs like a Thomas Wave and um, Dreamcast, Second Saturn, etc. All right, Acorn Adam 14, Archimedes uh, 131, Abstract CPC 2900 almost, GX 4000 24, APF M1000, you got 11, Apple II almost 1000, Apple II GS almost 100. So Final Burn Neo, you got 2285. Let's go back to arcade really quick. Usually arcade is all the arcade games. Okay, so maybe they're, I'm not sure uh, how they're, they're separating those. I haven't really checked them out yet. Okay, yeah, I am seeing some overlap, though, between Arcade and Final Burn Neo. Atari 2600, you got uh, 650, 800, you got almost 650, 5200, 70, Atari ST, 1400, Atari 7800, 58, Atari XE, 30, Atari Jinx, or Lynx, 71, and then Jaguar, Atari Jaguar. 70 game. Oozebox, 74. Sufami Turbo. So crazy why this one... I don't understand how this is sorted, but okay. Um, <laughs> they have uh, Sufami Turbo, uh, 15. Wonderswan, Wonderswan Color, about 200. Uh, GA Mate, they got 57. Computers Links, 30. Got some Hangman there. Casio, Coleco, all of them. Adam, 22. Pet, 2001. What a cool looking computer. It's like the Cybertruck got his, uh, you know, some uh, inspiration there. You got all your Commodores here. Massive Commodore. Mega Duck Super. You got a few games here. Uh, 23 in total. Super, Acan, 11. Arcadia, 56. Adventure Vision, 4. So, I'm just going to kind <laughs> of go a little quicker through some of these other games. Odyssey 2, 130. There's 105 systems, y'all. There's a lot. But uh, PC Engine, here you go. You know, great system. Was a big competitor against Nintendo. And there's some cool titles for this, for sure. TurboGrafx-1694, SuperGrafx-5, Game & Watch 53, Family Computer System 386, NES, all of them. So all your favorite NES games growing up are there. You can hit your trigger buttons like I'm doing here to jump to a game. You can hit start on or select on your controller, and I can go ahead and uh, filter game by text. I can jump to a random game like that and just pick a random game, or I can jump to a letter if I'm looking for Super Mario. I can go over to S over here, click yes. Now it starts me off at the S's, and then I can just go down until I find Super Mario. There's a Simpsons. S O S T S T Super C. There you go. Super Mario Tetris. Super Mario Bros. Tetris. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Regular. Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Uh, Super Mario Bros. In Track and uh, Duck Hunt. Oh, this is the three in one, two in one, one in one. All right, there you go. Okay, so it's got them all. Family computer disk system. All of them. Game Boy, all of them. Uh, Game Boy 2 player games. So, um, if you want to do those. Super Famicom, 2450. Super Nintendo, uh, almost, all, that's all of them. So, all those. Super Game Boy, 152. Satellaview, 85. Virtual Boy, all of them. Nintendo 64, all of them. Every Nintendo 64 game. So, there you go. Um, this is looking pretty good. Huge, huge collection here. Game Boy Color, all of them it looks like. Uh, it's going to have your Pokemons, all that fun stuff. It's going to be on there. Toy Story, Tony Hawk. Where's my P over here? Let's just check the Pokemons out. There you go. You got crystal, gold, silver. Uh, Game Boy Color uh, connected, linked up. Game Boy Advance, all of them. Pokemon Mini, Nintendo DS. So these are full, um, these are full collections for pretty much all these systems. And uh, the port section has some cool Doom uh, add-ons. Uh, Final Doom, Doom 2, Minecraft port. Qu checks Quest, which is like a Doom. I remember this. I got this on my... I remember getting the CD in my box of checks. But it's like a Doom uh, port, a Doom, reskinned Doom. Uh, pretty cool, fun game to play. Rick Dangerous, Quake, SG-1000, pretty much all of them. So now we're into Sega, right? We just went through Nintendo. 
And so everything from portable Nintendo to 32X, you got all the games. STV, this one's cool. This has some cool games on it. Batman Forever is a good game. Columns is fun. Um, it also has Die Hard Arcade. Hella fun game. Uh, picking up those. I love shooting the rocket launcher in that game. It's so funny. Um, so quite a few games to check out there. So, you know, this is, you know, a nice little base. Neo Geo. So for those of you who haven't tried this out, Arrow Fighter is really good. Final Fight. Uh, you also got your... Um, your Metal Slug, Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and X. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket 1 in color. And then uh, Tandy, TI-99, Thomas, Tiger Game Co. Remember these? All the Tiger games. Sonic Jam. Wow. It's not like the Sonic Jam for... Um, Sega Saturn, that's for sure. Here's what the build looks like on your computer. It does go ahead and give you the prerequisites, your Visual C, your DirectX. Um, it also has a readme file there to help you if this is your first time installing. It does come, come with the BIOS already installed for um, a lot of stuff. Oh, everything installed there. So I guess when you get the add-on packs, it'll add the other ones. It does have cheats. You got emulation station, which is running all that. Uh, library and then ROMs is where all your ROMs are stored and uh, you'll just add the folders as you put them in so if you put um, so Sega Saturn oh they have the folder already it's just empty you just got to add them for Sega Saturn and remember I'll be telling you you can add packs on I'm gonna be adding the Atomus wave pack on it should be in here Adam right there oh they already have some oh there it is Atomus wave sorry Adam not Atomus wave so um, I'll be adding that Okay, um, all you do is you install the prerequisites, you put an Xbox 360 controller or something like that, and you launch RetroBat. Okay, so I downloaded the RGS Atomus Wave V1. I right-clicked it, I rin would it, or if you have uh, 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 any, any unzipping software, and then I extracted it, and I think I'm done now, and then there it is, and then there it is. You get an Atomus Wave folder. Let's go ahead and just cut it. Let's go back to the main directory here. Let's go to our ROMs and let's paste it right here with all of our other systems. Now it's here. Remember, Atomus Wave was empty before. Here's all of our games. And then when you boot up RetroBat now, this should work. All right, so this is working. Let's see, we should have a Thomas wave now. Oh no, it's not here. Oh, I think you got it. You might have to add it over here. Oh, no, it's in there now. 106, we only had 105 before. So, it's in there already. Oh, Sega, okay, yeah, yeah. So it's under Sega. There it is, artwork's there. It's already there, and then here we go. We got Rumble Fish. Let's go ahead and play one of my favorite uh, games. Oh, Metal Slug's really good too. But uh, Dolphin Blue, I usually play that. You know, not a lot of people know about that game. Which has missing BIOS fires in the gaming network. Let's see. Oh. All right, so there you have it. Uh, very, very impressed. Like I said earlier, Virtual Man did something very similar to this a while back. I'm sure other people have as well. We've seen some retro bat builds. It's set up right now where you can just you know download it, extract it, and play it. You just have to install those prerequisites, and you're rocking and rolling. Um, 105 systems to start. You can add on all those other systems: PlayStation, Naomi, Dreamcast, um, you know, and and on. Uh, I didn't see a GameCube collection. Maybe those are coming. You know, I think those newer systems are coming, but um, a lot of that stuff is plug and play. Um, you'll see how I just added those Atomus Wave games. You know, you should be able to do that with other systems as well, add other games fairly easily. So I think that's going to attract a lot of people, especially if you watch my channel, right? Most of you probably have most of your games backed up. And so, you know, it's easy to just drag and drop in there. And, uh, you know, Retrobat is amazing. It's in my top three front ends, uh, hands down. Super easy to use, super easy to edit. Um, you know, really, re yeah, I love the simplicity. By the way, my son is playing right now, <laughs> in case you're wondering. 
<laughs> if I'm playing with like one hand or whatever. Um, and uh, you know, performance-wise, it's 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 great. Um, the one game I actually had a little bit of lag in is Mario Party 2 for Nintendo 64. I think I need to mess with the settings a little bit more, but that game also. Uh, lags a little bit in the mini games of all things yeah just in the mini games on the board and stuff it's fine but anyways i um i played a, a handful of systems a handful of games and they all work great all the controls were set up um if you missed it i'm just running on an xbox 360 controller i'm actually using a game sir controller right now but it it, it you know it works like an xbox 360 controller um you can go wireless or wired and so uh, RGS, um, you know, this build, it's on backups.me. I'll put a link on how to do that. Um, you know, RGS is doing this for free. He has like a buy me a coffee link. So if you like what he's doing, you can always buy him a coffee, give him a small donation, but he's not charging for this. And um, like I said, you can add on to it. But uh, what I've seen so far here is great. Now, um, some people, I think they're looking at it and like, I don't want to play... 90% of the games you just showed me, Drew Talks, and I, I don't blame you, you know, especially if you're not into the older consoles, but uh, you can either delete those ROMs in the ROM folder, or you could go ahead and go click start on your controller and just not show those systems. They're not taking up massive space anyways. Speaking of space, this thing is about 300 gigabytes, which is not much. You're really going to start adding on gigabytes when you add in those Nintendo GameCube games, those, those um, CD-based games. And so um, this thing can absolutely get to the 8, 10 terabyte, potentially. But uh, if you're just putting the games like you want to play on it, you can keep this well under a terabyte with, you know, m having even more, uh, uh, you know, newer consoles, CD-based consoles as well. So this makes a great starting point. It makes a great archive. Um, it makes, you know, if this is what you're looking for, it works really great. Um, I like it because I would throw it on a older computer that I'm not using anymore that it tur basically turns an old computer into a little retro gaming device um, you could throw it on a hard drive and bring it to your friends and bring it around with you to different places as long as they have a computer you just hook it up to the computer it's just the possibilities are endless and um, the front end is great you can update it and upgrade it over time so there's nothing not to like I, like i said i think the downsides are for the people that um you know don't need some of these systems they're like this is excessive i just don't need this and that's you just go download retro bat from scratch and build your own from scratch right but um this is a great option for everybody and uh that's what i think let me know what you all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one